Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about uh, Revit and Blender. How we can use the Revit and why we should use the Blender. And let's have a look to the Blender. What is we have in the Blender, why we should use it. In new Blender, which is starting from the 3.0, we have the new thing. This is calling the geometry nodes. If you are working in Revit, in the Grasshopper, you know what it means, the nodes. You no need to, I no need to explain you to, uh, you understand what is that. Who don't know what is that? Let's say this is visual programming. So now, so now you can manipulate with your geometry, not the data. This is main thing with your geometry and play it around with the geometry nodes. So that's why it's calling the geometry nodes. Why it's really nice? Because actually uh, the geometry nodes really perfectly working with geometry. It's really fast. Just ha let's have a look. Yes, we have the some bunches of geometries and we will change some data. And as you can see, it's changing immediately. We just spending, we're not spending even the one second or two seconds or we're not clicking somewhere to regenerate geometry. It's changing right now and right here. Also, I can change, for example, the viewport to the shading. As you know, the Blender have their own render engine, so you can render it and change it immediately here. But why it's so interesting for us who working with the Revit? Because we can get this geometry and just load it inside to the Revit. So if you have some, some parts of our Revit geometry really complicated, Sometimes it's really impossible to create it in Revit some properly design. So for that one, for this case, the Blender can really much help us. You can regenerate your geometry, export it and load inside to the Revit. First of all, I should say this is actually not my notes. Yes, I created, I just followed one guy, I will show you who, his tutorial below this video. Yeah, this guy, he really creating uh, incredible things uh, in Blender. He is, even he did it, the water with the some caustics. Uh, as you can see, he is already, have he have the water and renderings. But we are not talking about that. So if you want to follow it, if you want to create uh, this geometry, just uh, you will find this tutorial below this video. But I'm talking about another thing. I'm talking about how we can use it in Revit and how we can use it like uh, uh, just the users. So first, uh, first of all, we need export our geometry. Again, if you are working in Dynamo, you already know we need instance your geometry. Here you will find the instance and here we should use the realize instance. So it's pretty similar as you can see we get here the geometry and we get on the out also our geometry too. So just simple as that when you will create this code of course uh, you place it like that and that's it. After that just click on your geometry, right click and um, where is that? Convert to mesh. Done. After that select your model, file, export. Here you will find OBG, so if you are using the Revit 2022, OBG it's able to use. If not, you should use the STL or you should use the die, it's impossible, so you have to only STL view, STL. But we really will use OBG file, OBG, and here is the one tricky thing. First I want to save on the, my desktop, I will uh, rare... Uh, resave it and here is the uh, one interesting thing uh, if we will save as it is right now let me will save it i will show you difference and you will open your revit let me will delete this file uh, you should go to the import cat files you will find it here again you should use the revit 2022 after that find your file it's here you can go to the file of types and you will find obg file here. Select your file, select the category where you want to place it and after say after that just say open. Uh, I'm using the centimeters in Blender and in Revit I will place centimeters of course. We get our geometry and as you can see it's not right, it's rotated. So this is first my mistake because uh, our coordinate it's uh, our coordinate came from the uh, blender, it's different, we should change it. So how we can do that? Again, let's go to the export 
uh, our obg file let's say we'll select it and our forward it will be x just x not minus x just x our up it will be z not minus z again because if it will be minus z it will be rotate on the 180 degree so it will be upside down so z and x okay let's export it go back to the uh, revit i will delete again this i will import again the cat file i will find my uh, my new file and i will open it again the centimeters let's take just a few seconds and here is my file as you can see, now it's the on the right direction. If you will say why it's uh, transparent, because we are using the mass. If it's mass, it's of course will be transparent. As you can see, I'm, if you will select it, you will see this is mass. Let's go to the insert again, import cut file. Let's select it and let's change it to generic model, for example, because this is something like uh, in, ah, it's here. Generic model, this is for everything actually. And now it shouldn't be transparent. Yes, it's now not transparent. And now this you can use like a, a part of your model. The one thing, as you can see, the, it came like union file. Yeah, like union geometry, like linked file uh, as you want. And this is quite a bad thing. But as I said, if you have complicated part of your, uh, of your geometry in Revit, it's possible to create in the other case, in other uh, software and uh, import your part of geometry. But of course, if you will create half of your building like this, it's impossible. This is not, this is actually, actually not already BIM data. It's uh, trash actually. So, but if you have like, I don't know, like entrance or the art object in your uh, building, or maybe some complicated stairs. I don't know, the, your stairs, it's uh, also the sitting place or also it's a uh, walkthrough. So that's why it can be like that because uh, it's a unique thing. But uh, some average thing like the walls, like the floors uh, and other things, it shouldn't be used uh, any geometry like this because it's not will be BM data, it will be trash. Uh, anyway, so try to use the blender uh again thank you for uh this guy to uh, uh showing us how it's working just uh, you will find this uh, again you will find his tutorial below the video try to do something in the blender let me know uh do you using the blender do you know about the geometry do you want more tutorials about it maybe i should go deeper inside the node system in uh, blender maybe I, I should find some uh, connection between the blender geometry nodes and dynamo for this one review it's not tutorial let's say this is a review for this review it's finished thank you guys for watching and see you next time don't forget about the comments likes and share this video